you guys today we are going to be going to zaria kaduna from abuja by road i know you'll be saying like there are so many insecurities going on in the country and all that but i really need to be on this journey and i'm glad to take you guys along with me i have prayed and i hope nothing bad happens but yeah come with me to zaria kaduna from abuja so we took off at zuba in abuja and we took a taxi from there and we are headed to Zaria now. I've always wanted to see Zumarok and finally, ta I happened to see it. Look at how it looks and wow, it's actually huge man, like bro. So first of all, let me apologize because I have cold and my voice is like a bit cracky or something and i'm doing voiceover because the day i was on this journey i was trying to be vigilant and i also wanted to make content so i decided to film without saying anything at some point i got comfortable then i spoke So we got into this traffic that lasted for about 20 minutes and i was told that this road is usually busy especially now that is a festive season and all that so that was it enjoyed on this trip is the road the road is so wide and free i mean you can't even compare this to that of lagos in Baden expressway or patakoto road i mean the road is just so free no congestion no traffic i mean just look at how smooth it is i i don't know but at this point i started feeling comfortable i was enjoying the breeze that was coming out from the window the weather looked so 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 beautiful and i started feeling comfortable at this point because the driver looked like someone we could trust because we all started having conversations and all that this route so i guess it has businesses with the charcoal sellers and i also had to use that opportunity to like do some work because i work from home and my job is really demanding i really have to beat my laptop 247 so i had something to freeze and i really have to do that on the road how grainy everywhere looks this is just so beautiful anyways i was having a conversation with the driver and he was trying to tell me that we are close to nyc camp and that there, there is a new and old nyc camp and we're just having a fun time I 
at this point i was a bit hungry and a bit tired as well and i wanted to be vigilant so i could not sleep checking point like at this point i haven't even seen one single checking point and i was like bro oh. See this yeah. one's head, and I'm about to like this one the bus going to a car actually. I want to go into Zaria. Funny enough, this yeah. same so one the driver is trying to help me. Abuja to Zaria. Are you kidding me? So the driver is trying, trying to help me. And that's the car I'm about to enter. My cousin is telling me that I can actually pay one five from Abuja to Zaria, but because it's a festive season and. Many people are rushing to travel, so... Ah, they said the bus is full. So the next bus is this. Not really bus, yeah. One five, bro. And it's just in the same city. I'm like going from Ikeja to probably where, like, I'm not, I don't even know. So, but then... Enter back. No, let me enter back. Enter back. Enter back. Enter back. So, um... Yeah. Whoa. So my cousin didn't let me to take the phone, so she just said I should start the back. This is best not to them because she gave me signs. I don't know what that means, and I'm about to pay right now. She said it's pricey, but like I explained, the pricey period and people rushing and all those stuff. So. I just pay, I arrive. At this point, I was really famished and I had to look for something to eat.
so I told you earlier that I was really hungry so I saw that thing and they called it egg group I do not understand what that is and how they made donuts and put egg one side but yeah it was something edible so I had to eat so that I don't get too hungry and we proceeded to Zaria So we finally got into Kaduna town and it looks quite beautiful. Let me show you guys. So one thing I picked that uh, Kaduna city is that they have so many roundabouts like this like I could count up to six just passing through the town to Zaria Kaduna State also look very bubbling and busy feels like a whole bunch of people stays here and they really you know I don't know just just look at the people around City and now we're headed to Zaria right now. I don't know, but for some reason, this chicken that they kept out my bag just keeps scaring me and disturbing me. <laughs> At this point, you could tell I was saturated, like I was really, really tired. I couldn't wait to get off this journey, but then I was feeling sleepy, but I wouldn't want to sleep because I wanted to be vigilant, like I said earlier, so I had to fight the sleep. And then we happened to meet this traffic that is annoying. I finally arrived and my sister was waiting to pick me up. So, Jesus, how fat do you look? Hey, generation, how are you guys? How are you? Hmm? Hmm, Mr. Sokuso, how are you? We just made them, they didn't dress up. They didn't dress up, we just left them like that. Okay. So guys, I just met my sister. Like This journey has been crazy. So 
guys, we are heading home now. See my sister, say hi. Hi. All of you say hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. What is she doing there? Mister, how are you? She is great. I was your drunk. <laughs> 